Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz. Yeah, that's me, Fujit. How you all doing? So, we're going to look at games that make you go, mmm. Of course. Yeah, always going to bounce the Vickers CR on the turret, really. So, a couple of things before we get into this. It's only three replays, all of me playing tongues. And these are games that I sort of scratch my head at. Not because of anything in particular. I mean, the team didn't play badly and stuff like that. Just that there are some times where you just think either A, RNG is on your side, or something strange and wonderful is happening that you just can't explain. Now look, I'm not a fantastically great player. In fact, as I keep telling everybody, of all the YouTubers out there, I've probably got the worst stats. But you know what? I don't give a damn because I have fun and I enjoy playing this little tonk game. So this is me in a Panther 2 here on Halas. And so far, we've done some pretty good stuff. I mean, that Chimera has just been focusing me throughout the entire battle. But we shall get our revenge. Oh, that poor old T-69 is just going to sit there in the open. Is it a 69? I think it is. Sit there in the open and let me farm him. But there we go. We're the bounce. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Made of rubber bullets again. I've got to kill this loader of mine. He keeps loading rubber bullets. And this is the thing. These are games that make you go, ooh, it's like, how did that bounce? But that ain't nothing compared to what we're going to see in a moment. Oh, look at this. Easy target. Uh, no, maybe not. Rubber bullets again. Wait, load down. Load proper bullets, you absolute muppet. As he, oh, there we go. He put the right ones in. Now, I do like the Panther 2. It's a tricky tank. It's not the easiest of tanks. And in this game, we're sort of bottom tiered. So it's even less easy to play. But there are some times where the game just shines upon you. And this is one of those games. Why the Chimera doesn't bother to go after me here is beyond me. But hey, I don't care. I'm going to farm him and I'm just going to farm him and I'm just going to farm him. And we're going to win. Yay! Ha <laughs> ha! There you go. Okay, didn't set the word on fire merely a second class, but I'm quite happy with that little game. Now, this is the WZ. 120. The tank with the notoriously great gun depression. And I've already cut out a vast majority of the beginning. Is the amazing gun handling of this tank, which, let's be honest, it's not the best. Um, I mean, the aim time on the WZ is pretty low, but hey, I'm happy with that shot. Now, the other thing that you didn't see is we had a T92 just go yolloing into all those tanks over there. And. You know, I'm just sat here because I know they want to push onto me. So I'm not going to do anything other than sit here and let them push. There you go. Gun depression. Really helpful. Not. But there's another WZ120 there. I can put one into his bottom plate. Now the T92 is going to try and flank me. He's a one shot. I'm going to ignore him for the moment. He's going to take his time. I'm going to get one into the WZ. There we go. Now I can focus on the T92. The reason I'm going backwards is because I want to get my front armor facing the other way. I know he is going to bounce my turret, but look at this gun depression. Oh, it's just so lovely. Lovely, lovely gun depression. But hey, he's a one shot, so easy kill. No way. Let's look at that again in slow mo. Are you serious? And that's why I hate the T92. It just bounces everything off its bloody front tracks. I mean, that was the idler I hit. But hey, not to worry, we'll finish him off in the end. We've only lost a little bit of hit points. Now the AMX-30 is pushing on me. I can shoot him because I don't need gun depression for that shot. Ta -da! So we're doing okay. We're having a bit of fun here in the WZ-120. And this is a game that made me go, hmm, because of that shot on the T-92. I mean, what on earth was all that about? Uh, not to worry, because RNG shines on me again. It's going to let me roll down. I mean, look at the aim time here. Big, small, dead. Back to the garage with you, my friend. Now the E75. But we can see here the Super Conk is on a mission. No, I don't blame him. He's going to do damage. But we steal the kill. Okay, it took me a second class, but I'm happy with that game. Now here we roll out in the Leo PTA here on Rockfield. And we're going to get a sneaky shot in in a moment once we spotted something. Oh, after we've been violated by a Bosch. That was a bit unfortunate. Hello, Gorilla. Have a little bit of that. But now we're spotted and it's not good. But nothing bad at the moment. 
We are now going to roll across, put one into the standard B, and we're going to be fantastic. Or we're going to bump into a rock. Fascinating. Noob move in slow-mo. Yeah, there's a rock there. Yeah, I didn't see it. Yeah, I backed into it. Yeah, I got shot. But hey, the game is going to shine down upon me from the heavens upon eye because I'm going to make a big noob move right now. There's a lot of red enemy tanks there, but good old Fujit, I'm not perturbed. I'm going to rush. No, I'm not. I'm going to go towards them. I'm going to press them. There we go. I'm bottom tier in a PTA here, not a tank renowned for its armor. But hey! I don't care! Oh, hello, I7. Oh, bouncy, bouncy, rubber bullets again. Let's give that. Oh, no, no, that's terrain. No, you don't want to go up there. No, he's going to hurt you. Oh, bouncy, bouncy. Oh, no, I'm losing hit points. Oh, uh, retreat! Run away! Get out of there! Oh, my giddy aunt. Oh, load of heat. Can we. Yes, we shoot him. Oh, no! Everything's happening. Everything's going wrong. This has gone south very quickly. Oh, uh, you know, this escalated. <laughs> Quicker than I expected. But hey, I've got mobility on my side. Put the APCR back in. Oh, no, we get a good shot in there. Oh, hello, WZ. Come to help me out. Hey, what is what? What? Let's have a look at that bounce in super duper slow mo because that was bloody luck. Oh, you lucky bastard. In my experience, there's no such thing as luck. Don't ever tell me the PTA doesn't bounce. <laughs> Uh, mm, I don't know how that happened, but it happened, and that's a game that made me wail. Well. Mm. In fact, I played this on live stream, and most people on the live stream, all like ten of them, because not many people watch my live streams, all went, how the hell did that bounce? And you know what? I have no idea. Not a Scooby Doo. Well, that's Cockney for clue. But I'll take it, and I'll pay Wargaming their money in the morning. That's what I say. Anyway, so we've done pretty okay in this game, <laughs> to be honest with you. I mean, there's still a lot of enemy tanks out there, and we're going to give the poor old Emil a bit of a hard time. We've got no hit points, so we can't even touch him, because we will die. All we can do is use our mobility to try and take him out. But, there's a camping cram wagon. Ouch! Anyway, I've been fooded. Those have been three replays on games that make you go, hmm, because you know what? I have no idea how I won any of those games. I hope you enjoyed that. By all means, comment and everything below. And until the next time, guys, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking, because that is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.